So as you guys know, I really believe in the power of Monday, starting Monday off on a really positive and powerful note because it sets the tone for the rest of the week. However, a couple of things this morning. I haven't gone for my like spiritual ritual, which is a every Monday being down at Bondi Beach, going for a walk or a jog, and then always an ocean dip. And I do this rain, hail, or shine, and I do this throughout the year, even in the thick of winter without a wetsuit. It's probably actually my favorite time of the year to do it. However, a couple of things this morning. I'm so tired. I had a great night's sleep, but I'm still shattered. It has rained all night. It is windy, it is cold, and poor Giuseppe has got a sore paw. So, and I know how much he loves coming with him, and the thought of leaving him at home to go and do that, I just would, I actually would feel too guilty. Um, however, in the meantime, um, I just found two dollars on the floor. Now, I have a feeling it will probably be Tom's, because Tom's always like leaving stuff all over the place. But that's okay, I'm gonna put it into the money tin before one of us accidentally spends it. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Another successfully frugal day. I did not spend any money on food. And I think part of that reason why I can do that is I was so busy. I didn't even like leave the office once. I was there the whole, like not even to grab, I couldn't even grab lunch because I was too busy to get lunch if I wanted to. Um, I just had my protein cereal, which is so good. Um, for doing frugal February and um, I have worked out through going through my budget how much money to allocate to the tin for money that I didn't spend. So I went to Woolworths, grabbed my chicken um, and Tom's now decided he's tired, cranky, grumpy and wants to go and grab takeaway. Now I'm too tired to argue with him tonight and again he said he'll pay because it's frugal February which I'm not exactly proud of. However, I started cooking, I put all the stuff ready to go here. So you know what, I refuse to waste any food and this will actually, uh, when we come home from dinner, I will quickly um, cook this and this can be our lunch for tomorrow. And just so you know, we're not going out to an expensive um, dinner, we're going out to grab dumplings for dinner. So actually it's gonna be a pretty frugal dinner. Also, um, the Easter egg supply may be dwindling. Um, so I probably should have been a bit more realistic as to the reality of having Easter eggs in the house before Easter and my um, so level of self-control when it comes to sugar. And also surprisingly, Tom's um, level of self-control. Last day of frugal February. Keep watching because this evening I'm gonna be counting how much money is in my money tin. I'm so excited. Now I'm ending frugal February on a high. I've got my morning coffee um, with my Nespresso machine which is behind me and I have packed my lunch which is what I made for dinner last night. Now I've lost all my Tupperware containers. I think I'm going to have to buy some new ones which is not very frugal. So I'm using Rocco's um, little Tupperware container. Alright, stay tuned because this afternoon or this evening I'm going to literally count out in front of you how much money I have saved from doing Frugal February. So if you haven't already subscribed, Please make sure you do. Not only does having a coffee machine at home save me time and money, but also taking a packed lunch to work. I've got chicken and roast vegetables and roast macadamia nuts. Now, I'm often running from meeting to meeting to meeting, and by taking a packed lunch to work, um, it means I can eat it on the run and it's healthy. I don't have to go to a cafe and wait for it to be made and then, um, you know, also waste um, the environment by having like packaged foods and paper towels and paper bags. This is environmentally friendly and good for my wallets. Okay, so this isn't actually about being frugal. Um, it's actually the opposite. Um, but I'm standing outside. My hairdresser is the guy who cuts my hair, who cut my um, my hair and style it for the book. And I just got to quickly deliver him a book or copy of the book to say thank you so much for doing my hair and to say to him he's gonna have to make sure he does my hair for the next um, book that I'm gonna write and I'm already started writing it. Whilst I was at the gym today, I decided it was end of frugal February, I'm gonna get a protein ball to celebrate. And um, I didn't eat it straight away, I popped it into my handbag for later on the day to enjoy it later, delayed gratification. Anyway, I've just found out my next meeting, they've got cupcakes there. I'm so excited, I love cupcakes. So I'm gonna pop the protein ball, which is in my handbag, into the freezer when I get home and I'm gonna enjoy it at a later time. Um, talk about manifesting magic, like as I lean into um, the month of March, um, 
I have been talking about cupcakes a lot recently and talking about how much I love cupcakes and had a cupcake on Sunday. I actually had two cupcakes on Sunday. They were so good. Um, and went to, was going to a meeting and they um, said, oh, we've got cupcakes for the meeting. I'm like, yeah, more cupcakes. The meeting finished and then I said, here, have some cupcakes to take home to Rocco. Yum. Uh, last day of frugal February and I've decided Rocco and I are going to celebrate. We're going to go after dinner and get sushi. Um, I've got $16 left after buying my protein ball. Um, I don't think that's going to cover enough sushi, but um, I'll see. And I did find some loose coins in my car this morning. So I think that can probably like top me up, but it will keep me, um, it will make sure I order consciously. Um, and I definitely don't over order and waste food as well as money. Date night to celebrate end of frugal February. And my day passed out. Or sushi for me to eat. So the frugal February celebration didn't really work. Um, I was so excited. Um, I was taking Rocco to see a friend who's about to have a baby. We'd go and have a quick swim down at Bondi Beach together and go get some sushi from Sushi Train together and celebrate like splashing out. Um, Rocco has been asleep for the last hour. Um, I went to Sushi Train anyway. I sat eating sushi whilst carrying Rocco in my arms. I'll tell you what, carrying an, an 18 kilo child whilst trying to eat sushi with the chopsticks is really hard. Um, and I guess that gave me the desire not really to stuff my face because it wasn't possible because the food was like falling everywhere. Like Rocco actually has rice on the back of his neck. Um, anyway, good news is I spent $15 and I had to use about a dollar in the parking meter so I actually have no money to add to the money tin. Okay something really weird happened last night. I um, Rocco just passed out, he was so tired and I was like okay go open the money tin counter how much there is and I became really um, insecure and shy and actually like almost a little bit embarrassed. Now I don't know why because I was genuinely so excited and I'm just gonna put it down to being really tired so I didn't actually open the money tin last night. I'm opening it now, which kind of actually works out better because Rocco gets to join in with me in this process. And Rocco is wearing a very special outfit today because his um, daycare are celebrating the Jewish holiday of Purim, I believe. And um, they'll get to wear a fancy dress. So he's wearing um, the fancy dress outfit that we got from Etsy. And I will link in the description box below where we got it from because it is so cute and it is homemade and we're supporting a small business which feels great. So we're going to crack open the tin and see how much money um, we save by doing Frugal February whilst I enjoy my homemade coffee which is here to stay. You ready to crack open the tin? Wow, we got lots of 50s. Wait, how do we come up with this money? From doing... <laughs> no, I'm doing. For, you, you must earn a lot of money if you're doing chores. Frugal February. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, there is so much money, and I'm seeing so many fifty-dollar notes. I cannot believe how much money is actually physically in front of me, and to think I was feeling really embarrassed and insecure last night. How silly of me. Check out this. So in coins, we had $40 and 70 cents. Is that right? Yep. And um, that means we have saved a total of $715 and 70 cents. I am so proud of that. I definitely did not think I would, like, I would have come close to that. In my mind, I was thinking there's probably between maybe four to $500, um, maybe a little bit over 500 if I was lucky. Not Definitely did not expect $715. I'm so proud of that. Now, to be honest, I would love to use that money to help pay for a handbag that I have had my eye on for a really, really long time and a bag that I actually think would be really helpful because I don't have one like it. And But I won't. I'm going to use the $715.70. I'm going to deposit it into the $1,000 project account today and use that towards kickstarting around three of the thousand dollar project, which starts today. 
Now, I will buy this handbag eventually, but maybe further down um, the track when I've achieved more of my goals or I'm more, I've created more progress um, with the $1,000 project. But I'll tell you what, I'm really quietly, um, not quietly, I'm loudly proud. $715 is a lot of money and I definitely did had no idea it would be that much. Um, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm glowing, I'm happy. Um, all right, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do because Manifesting March is now the polar opposite of being frugal and focusing on like scarcity and um, limited resources is where we open ourselves up to the flow of money, attracting money, manifesting money. And I really hope that we all create some serious money magic for the month of March. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Now is the time to create that shift. All right, everyone, I better get this superhero off to school um, before... <laughs> Um, it gets too late if he ever stops eating yogurt and um, I will see you in a few hours again because I'll be posting this video about manifesting mind. Be kind and be brave and be, and be true.